And I remember landing in this poppy field, like stepping off the ramp, and like I could hear gunfire. Like there was already is already on right on target, and so I got my little <laughs> Afghan commando troopers. So like, okay, man, let's go. And like I remember running up this hill, and I was aware in that moment, like, okay, this is odd that this is, you know, the cliche of like running to the gunfire. And I, I believe me, I don't consider myself like a, a heroic person at all. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't even a conscious decision. I was doing it. And it was like I was trying to get there as quickly as I could. And it, and it, it did occur to me, like, yeah, this is kind of weird, mm. you know. But it is your training, and it also is your purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't know which supervenes on what, but, yeah, for sure. How bizarre was it, the whole poppy fields thing? Because I remember one of the most interesting uh, aspects of the war was that we were protecting poppy fields. And there was this weird video, I don't know if you've ever seen it, of Geraldo Rivera, who was on Fox News, spinning this in some sort of a way, but realizing how ridiculous it sounded while he was interviewing a general who was on the, f on the field, or I don't remember, it was a general soldier who was on the field who was explaining why they were doing this, that they were guarding the poppy fields so that these people could keep making heroin. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're, you're looking at this, and especially someone who has a knowledge of Vietnam, that it was intimately connected with drug running and that there was a lot of that going on that was part of the purpose of it and that somewhere someone was profiting off of this to the tune of billions of dollars mm -hmm. and you're not exactly sure how or how it was being done or what involvement the United States military had in it but in this particular instance you're living in the era of social media and the internet well, not, not necessarily social media but at least the internet where people are very aware of things like that that are at the very least inconsistent with the narrative that we have here in America that drugs are bad bad people sell drugs bad people make drugs we have to stop the drugs from getting into the country now here you are you know we're, we're watching Geraldo Rivera a Fox reporter putting this like really clunky spin on why we have to do this and I can only imagine it's because it had already been exposed that the United States was doing that, and they had to say, well, we have to come up with some sort of an excuse for why we're guarding heroin production. So I guess my understanding of if if the U.S. mill was doing that is probably, like, a secondary consideration because, like, at least down south, like, that, that's a huge part of the economy mm -hmm. is, like, opium production. Yeah. And I would guess it would be... Eradicating like the the poppy fields would be a worse choice, like like economically de destabilizing like you know these people who are already super poor. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but it's also for sure, yeah, aiding in the profit of selling heroin. Oh, I mean, I mean the, the the Taliban would make money from opium production. Yeah. you know, even though it's against Islam or whatever. It's yeah. like, yeah, no, it was. I I don't know how to crack that nut. Was that talked about over there? Yeah, I mean, like DE, I know DEA was over there doing doing their thing. What were they doing? Selling it? I, I don't know. <laughs> like, well, uh, that's what's so strange yeah. is that it seems like, you, you know, uh, especially when you have this disconnection from the mainstream media and from, you know, uh, channels of information getting to other people, that this is a part of what's happening over there that there's it was i believe at one point in time it was 90 plus percent of the world's heroin yeah yeah was coming from afghanistan yeah i mean i, I don't i don't have an answer bizarre yeah. though right yeah did you think how bizarre it was when or was just that was inconsequential that was it, not yeah it wasn't like oh, another poppy field like it was just part of the landscape you know mm. but it, uh, yeah i probably didn't put much thought into it how did they cultivate the pot? I mean, they were doing all this in the middle of combat, in the middle of war. Like, how were they handling all that? Uh, I mean, the, like, in my experience, the, like, if we did hit a target that was, like, in a remote place like that, like, they weren't, they weren't seeing coalition forces often, if at all, you know. It's kind of like they probably thought they were in a safe haven. Mm. So... I mean, I think when you get closer to the 
the built up areas and at least at the time I mean, I mean like the whole afghan government was so corrupt anyway so i think probably the main people making money were you know afghan generals mm. you know which I think at one time the Afghan army had like 3,000 general officers or something. Hmm. That like this inverted pyramid of leadership. <laughs> like, oh, I'm a general, you know, and they all have mansions and it's all corruption money. And, <sighs> yeah. How weird was that? Being a part, like, that's the side that you were on. I mean, you're, you're, you're over there sort of helping. Uh, yeah, like, I think you just got to focus on the tribe right mm -hmm. like the it's like you and your dudes and and you have this task and you're going to accomplish it to the best of your ability and bring everyone back alive and then the the political side of it i mean yeah it'd be easy to get kind of demoralized yeah that's what if, i'm at if, yeah. you, if you focus on that yeah was it bizarre for you as someone who has done heroin to think like oh this is where it comes from um I mean, I think I, I was conscious of that, but like it didn't, it wasn't that crazy. It's like. <laughs> you know? So even though you knew that there was uh, rampant corruption and that, that there's a lot of things that were kind of fucked, it was still your tribe, your task. Yep. Did, did you spend any time pondering like whether or not that made sense? Or did you just, just do what you were supposed to do? Uh, yeah, I think I reflected on it and then would just you know do it you know did anybody talk about it over there yeah i think yeah and i, w I would talk about it too like you, you know as the war progressed you would see the, these mansions being built around Kabul and stuff you know mm. these ridiculous like concrete mansions and like uh that's our tax dollars are paying for that mansion you know or it's corruption money or it's it's opium money or whatever and it's just it's just part of the the culture there you know, like, how do you fix that? 